And as the uh, COVID-19 pandemic continues, an alarming study shows a staggering one in six Americans now in danger of going hungry. That's almost a 50 percent increase from 2019. Wow. And with millions of Americans now utilizing food banks across this country, many for the first time ever, one thing is certain food banks are struggling to meet the surging demand and there is no relief in sight. So let's bring in president and CEO of the Utah Food Bank, Jeanette Bott. Jeanette, thank you so much for being with us and for all the tireless work I know that you have been doing over these many months and many more to come. Unfortunately, we've seen those images of the long lines for people trying to just feed their families, as we said, some of them for the first time. What is the situation like there on the ground? You know, here it's a real frightening scenario that we're facing for a variety of reasons. One, to your point, we don't know when it will end. The next point to that is that so many of these folks who are coming through are first time folks. They've never had to use services before. They don't know where to go to get help for their family. And you know if they need food, they need other assistance as well. And then there's always the children. No schools, limited breakfast and lunch scenarios, no dinners. The kids are being impacted greatly. So it just, to your point, it's a ripple effect. You talk about how much the need has increased. I was struck by how many folks are first time users of your services. Speak to that need and just how great uh, the need is this year compared to years past. You know, we're seeing, if you look at numbers from February to June, food insecurity here in the state of Utah has jumped from about 8% of the population to about 17%. And again, those who are coming through the first time were people who were working in the service industry. They had their job one day, they went the next day, the restaurant or the organization was closed. Those people haven't been able to recoup. The challenge we're having is the lines are long and people are really concerned that food is going to run out. So some people are, are staying in their cars overnight. Wow. In reality, here in Utah, they don't have to do that. We have plenty of food. It's just being able to get into all the neighborhoods who are in need. It's good to know that you're able to provide that food for those families, even if they have to wait. But how are you keeping up with this surge in demand? Because this is such an incredible surge. How do you continue to feed everyone in an unlimited and uncertain amount of time going forward? Well, I'm I think we are very fortunate here in Utah because we have a very collaborative and a very compassionate culture. You know, we put out the call for help here in Utah and people rally. You know, there have been certain benefits that have been provided through the government. Our biggest concern comes what happens in a month or so when those benefits go away or when they change, then what happens? Also, we've had great weather. It's been a mild winter so far. So those outside distributions are, are working. What happens in January, February, we'll still have to be outside. But Mother Nature isn't gonna be quite as compassionate then as she is now. So there always is a different set of circumstances to the same problem. How do we feed those people and how do we be sure you're not going hungry? It's a huge challenge, not here alone, but across the country as well. Well, we applaud your efforts there and we've talked to many folks who are in positions like yours in several states. We applaud the effort. I know it, it is tireless, it is exhausting, work but um but really it, so many people are going to make it through the holiday a little better maybe because of your efforts utah food bank president and ceo jeanette bot ma'am thank you so much and continue with your good work thank you well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.